Hi friends, welcome to CIC. My name is Bo Lewis and I'm the head usher here at CIC. So let's get right into the word. This is going to be a pause and ponder moment that we want to experience in the scripture. So tonight's scripture is going to come from Exodus chapter 4 verses 1 through 5 and then 21. But I'm just going to read a couple of verses. Verse 1. Then Moses said, What if they will not believe me or listen to what I have to say? They may say, The Lord has not appeared to you. The Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A staff. So, ba so basically what's going on here is Moses and God had an encounter at the burn burning bush. God came down because he heard the outcry from his people in Egypt, being oppressed by the Egyptians. And so God told Moses, basically, at 80 years old, I want you to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. So Moses went to his people first to explain to them what God had told him. And so Moses asked God, hey, now what if they don't believe me? Of course, that's an obvious question. And so what God basically said, that staff in your hand, put it on the ground. And God turned it into a snake. It made Moses scared for a second. But then God says, grab that snake by the tail. And he turned it into a staff again. And so then he'll say, the people will believe you. Um, and there's another account, but we'll just stick right there. So what, what, what God is trying to tell us, trying to tell me and trying to tell you, is that no matter what the situations that goes on in your life, he will be your provider. And so I have four points there. Number one, God is your deliverer. Just like he delivered the Israelites out of bondage and slavery and turmoil, he will deliver you and he will deliver me. He'll deliver all of us. Okay, if you have any issues with drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography, um, social media, God can deliver you. You have to um, be humble and open your heart to him. And number two, God is a provider. So we have clothes on our back, food on the table. We have jobs. And even if you don't have jobs, God still provides. Next is, is he's our helper. So God left when Jesus was crucified and he gave his life for us, he left us with the Holy Spirit before he ascended into heaven. So now, if, you have any, if you're running across situations where you're thinking bad th thoughts or you want to do bad things and you know that it is wrong, that's the Holy Spirit reaching out to you, telling you there is a better way. And finally, um, God, he's our redeemer. Jesus is our redeemer. Why? Because he died for us. Okay, so that's that is a justification for us that because he died, now we are free. Again, who the Son sets free is free indeed. And that, that Jesus is coming from Jesus Himself. So we just want to encourage you from CIC that you know if 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 you feel like, like you're in bondage, just like the nation of Israel, God will send uh, the Redeemer, just like He sent Moses to to facilitate um, Egypt out of bondage, he sent Jesus to do the same thing. So God bless you, and we encourage you, and always trust and focus on God first.